Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up rocket.net web hosting. So let's get right into it. Hey, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jake Full, and I built a six figure blogging business all on the side while I was working my nine to five job. And I was able to quit my job and go full time as an entrepreneur doing what I love every single day. And I wanna teach you exactly how to do the same. And so if that sounds interesting, make sure to click the link in the description below and sign up for my free 30 minute blogging masterclass. It's an entire overview of blogging and affiliate marketing and how easy it is to get your own website started, create a brand online, and start generating passive income every single month because I have built entire website templates in a box that you can import in less than one minute. And then I also have over 400 individual website templates that you can mix and match however you would like to create pages and blog posts 10 times faster than anybody else out there. And so make sure to click that link in the description below and get signed up for the free training. And let's get back to the video. So if you decide that you want to go with rocket.net for your web hosting, then you can go to rocket.net. Otherwise, if you would like to use my affiliate link, you can go to startblogging101.com slash rocketnet. And that will bring you directly to here. So I'm just gonna enter here. And here is their home page. It says the world's fastest WordPress hosting. And I'm gonna click on the button that says see plans and pricing. And so here is rocket.net's pricing page. If we scroll down here, you can see that they have their different plans listed. They have a starter plan, a pro plan, and a business plan. And I would recommend going with the starter plan. That is good for one WordPress install. The pro plan gives you three WordPress installs and the business plan gives you 10 WordPress installs. So if you ever decide that you want to add more websites, you can always just very easily upgrade. Now rocket.net is the most premium hosting out there. It is by far the fastest. It is very, very beginner friendly and they have absolutely amazing support. And so it is kind of a triple whammy for everything that you get compared to other web hosting plans. And so this is why I highly recommend rocket.net hosting. I've been switching a number of my websites over to them. And then another really nice perk with rocket.net is that the first month is always $1. And so if you are starting a brand new website or if you have an existing website already out there, you can easily get this migrated over. I believe that they offer unlimited migrations and they will migrate your site in under an hour. In fact, mine only took anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to have my entire website migrated over to rocket.net with everything working. And so that is crazy to be able to switch hosts that fast and have everything running on a much faster server. And so you can see that the starter plan is $30 a month, but you can actually save some money if you do decide to pay annually, which is what I did. And so if you click this toggle here to switch to the annual pricing, you'll see that that now drops down to $25 a month and then you'll just pay for 12 months right up front, which I would recommend you do because rocket.net is by far one of the best web hosting platforms out there for WordPress. And if you're going to be using it for at least a year anyway, you might as well just pay for the annual billing. And that will save you an additional $60 a year, which is really nice. So if we scroll down here, like I said, the starter plan comes with one WordPress install you get 250,000 visitors, which is plenty for what you need to just get started. Your storage is gonna be 10 gigabytes, and then they have a number of really nice perks over other web hosting platforms, such as unlimited PHP workers. This is something that many web hosting platforms charge extra for. And then they have free SSL, they have their enterprise CDN, and so they actually hook in directly with the enterprise Cloudflare plan, and you don't really need to know the specifics of that, but it is a really, really expensive program if you were to get it on your own, and they offer it on each of their websites, which is really awesome. As I mentioned before, they give you free migrations, which is really nice if you have an already existing website out there. They give you automated daily backups, so in case anything ever goes wrong on your website, you can rest assured knowing that you have a backup available to you from rocket.net, and then they have their own configuration web application firewall, which is a WAF. And again, you don't really need to know the special details about that, but that is multiple layers of security and things that you don't need to worry about. And in fact, we won't even need to put additional plugins on your website to take care of that stuff because it's all handled for you. So if I scroll back up here, I'm gonna click get started on the starter plan here. And then here is where you will create your account. So you'll enter your email and your password. And this will be the credentials to get you into rocket.net and we'll actually be setting up a different set of credentials to get into your WordPress site later. 
but just enter your email and your password and hit continue. And so now that I've created my account, you can see that the second step says to enter your billing information. And so you can see all of your details here about your plan. So I'm on the starter plan, which gives me one WordPress site. I chose the annual billing, which gives me two months free and saves me $60 a year. And so it comes out to $25 a month. You get all of their WordPress support, which is absolutely amazing compared to other ones that I have used in the past. There is a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you use rocket.net and you decide that you just don't like it for whatever reason, they will happily refund your money. And so because I chose the annual plan, it'll be $300, which is the $25 a month times 12. And then here's where you will enter your billing information. So you'll put your first name, your last name. You can choose to pay with credit card or PayPal and you'll enter your details here and then you just click sign up. All right, so once you have created your rocket.net account and you have entered your billing information to get the starter plan for your website, you're going to be presented with the rocket.net dashboard, which is gonna look something like this. And so you'll see the number of sites that you have activated. You'll see your number of visitors and your disk usage and bandwidth here. And in order to get your site going, all you have to do is come over to this big blue button that says create site. So I'm gonna choose that. And so here's the page to create a new site. It says enter your site details. And this right here will just be a simple label to label your website. So you can put your domain.com if you want, but I'm just gonna put a simple label such as the name that I'm going to be using since I'm going down the personal branding route. And so I'm going to click in here and I'm going to type Ethan Blackwell. And then right here is where your origin server is going to be located at. And so I would choose something that's closest to you. But again, because rocket.net uses Cloudflare Enterprise and it takes advantage of all of the servers that Cloudflare has out there, this isn't really gonna matter a whole lot because people are going to get really, really fast loading times that come to your site no matter where they are at in the world. So if I click on this and open it up, you can see that there's a few options for the US. You can see there's a couple in Australia and then you have some in the UK and then other places like that. And so I'm just gonna leave this as Ashburn in the US and then I'm gonna click continue. And so we have the site details all filled out. Now we need to enter our WordPress information. And so here is where you will enter your admin username. Please don't use admin. Use anything other than admin for what you want your admin username to be for your WordPress site. You'll enter your admin password and then you'll also enter the email that you want to use for your administrator email. I'm going to leave the language set as English and then I do just wanna really quickly go over these additional options in the bottom here. So this is for multi-site support you more than likely are not going to want that. So I'm gonna leave that disabled. WooCommerce is for if you wanna start selling things on your website and we're not going to be worrying about any digital products or anything like that. So I'm gonna leave that turned off. I'm gonna leave this third option for the Collaborate turned off as well. And then the fourth option is for the WordPress recommended plugins. And if you actually click on this right here, you can see that it adds this plugin for a coming soon page, a plugin for Google Analytics, Optin Monster, WP Forms, and WP Mail SMTP. I actually don't recommend any of these plugins. Um, so we're actually not going to install them because if we did install them, we would just end up deleting them anyway. So I'm actually going to disable this option and not include the recommended plugins. And then once you have all of this information filled out, your continue button will be lit up and you just click that. All right, so I have created a new site through rocket.net you'll see that once the site is created, you'll be brought to this page and here you're going to see a temporary domain that is in place of your website for the time being. And then once you're ready to go live, we'll set that up and get it redirected so that it's pointing to your actual domain.com. But this is really nice because it gives you a temporary domain. You can go in and start tweaking the things that you would like. And then once you're ready to go live and have that website accessible to everyone, you can click the get started button on the section that says ready to go live. And one of the best things about rocket.net is that everything is configured perfectly from the start. It's so beginner friendly and there aren't any like crazy settings and things that you need to go in and change to get your website to be fast. It's just automatically going to be running through Cloudflare Enterprise and their servers. It's going to give you dedicated resources, which is so much better than shared hosting. And it's just one of the fastest options that you can use for your website and very easily pass Core Web Vitals that way. So you'll see this button up here in the upper right that says WP Admin. So if you click on that, that's a really nice one-click access 
that will automatically redirect you to your site and get you logged into the back end of your website. And so you can see that I'm here on my Ethan Blackwell site. And if I actually just visit the site right here, you can see that it just puts the default 2024 WordPress theme or whatever WordPress theme it is that WordPress currently has on your website and we will obviously go in and change all of this stuff but you can see that the website is already up and running and in the url here it is the temporary domain name that we have from rocket.net but we will go and switch that now so i'm actually going to get out of this now and i will run you through all of the instructions to get your website up and running but we might as well just make this website live so once you're ready to go live and have this temporary domain name become your actual domain, you can just click the get started button here. So I'm gonna choose that. And if I scroll down a little bit here, it says set your website URL. So this is where you will change your domain name and get it changed from the temporary domain name that it had. And so here is where you'll enter your site address. So I'm gonna type ethanblackwell.com. So there I've entered ethanblackwell.com. You can see that it already prepends the HTTPS on there, which is great. So I'm gonna click continue. All right, so step two is to configure your SSL certificate. And this might seem really scary, but it's really easy to do. And I do wanna note on the very bottom, it says if you are okay with a few minutes of downtime while the SSL certificate is issued, you can actually skip this and it's actually going to be taken care of in step three. And so if you want, you can actually just say, I've added the TXT records continue and it will just be taken care of for you and your site will be down for only a few minutes. And if you're just getting started, this is not a big deal at all, but I will show you really quick how to go through this step if you would like to do it manually. And so what it's asking you to do is to add two simple TXT records into Cloudflare, which is what we used for our DNS. And so you can see it gives you the two TXT records here. It gives the name that it should be and the value. And all we have to do is copy these and put them into Cloudflare. So I'm gonna jump over to Cloudflare now. So here I am back in Cloudflare. And if you are not already on the DNS records page, all you have to do is go to the websites option on the left-hand side choose your website from that list, and then you will see that there is a DNS item on the left-hand side here in the sidebar. So I chose that, and this brings you to the DNS records page. And so all we need to do is add two simple TXT records. And so what I'm gonna do is click the add record button here. And then for the type, I want a TXT record. So I'm gonna scroll down until I see TXT. So I'm gonna choose that. And then I'm gonna jump back to Rocket here. And you can see that Rocket says that here is the first name for the TXT record. So I'm just gonna copy that value. I'm gonna jump back to Cloudflare now. And I'm gonna paste that value into the name field here. So we have that TXT name added right here. And then I'm gonna go back to Rocket. I'm gonna copy the value for that right here. I'm gonna jump back to Cloudflare and I'm gonna put that in the content box here. So I've taken that TXT record, here's the name and here's the content that we copied over directly from Rocket. And then all I'm gonna do is save this. And then we're gonna add one more. So I'm gonna click add record again. In the drop down, I'm gonna change from an A to a TXT record. And then I'm gonna go over to Rocket. I'm gonna copy the first name for this second value here. I'm gonna go to Cloudflare and I'm gonna paste that in the name value here. And then I'm gonna go back to Rocket one more time. I'm gonna copy the value for that. And we're gonna go to the records page. We're gonna paste that into the content and we're gonna click save. So that's all there is to it for adding the TXT records. Once again, like I said, if we go to Rocket here, it does say that you can actually skip this step if you don't mind a couple minutes of extra downtime. I personally don't mind a couple minutes of downtime and so you don't even need to do this TXT record step if you don't like, but I'm gonna now click that I've added the TXT records, continue. All right, so this last step to get your site live is you need to update your DNS records to point them to Rocket's servers. And so all we're doing is in Cloudflare, it doesn't know currently where your website server is located. And so all we need to do is add a couple of really simple records and tell Cloudflare where your rocket.net server is located. And then you'll be able to start seeing things on your website and it will have your domain.com instead of the temporary domain that we had prior. So it gives some nice instructions here for how to do this. And all we need to do is create two CNAME records 
with these names and values and add them into Cloudflare and we'll be good to go. So I'm gonna go into Cloudflare now and here I am on the DNS records page for my website. You can see that I have a couple of TXT values and that was only from step two prior. So whether you did step two or not, it doesn't really matter. And so it's not a big deal if you don't have these TXT records in your DNS settings, but we are going to add a new record here. So I'm gonna click this button and instead of an A record, we want a C name record. So I'm gonna choose C name here. And if we jump back to rocket here, you can see that the name should be an at symbol and the value should be this value, which is that temporary domain that they gave you. And so I'm gonna copy this value right here. We're gonna go back to Cloudflare and in the name here, we're gonna do an at symbol. And so that is just your domain.com. You can see that it filled in. EthanBlackwell.com is an alias of this target that we put in here. And so we're gonna paste that value, which was the temporary domain that we had from Rocket into there. And so you can see that it says your domain.com is an alias of that temporary value and has its traffic proxy through Cloudflare. But we actually want this to not proxy through Cloudflare. So I'm going to disable this and you can leave the TTL as auto, and then I'm gonna click save. And so now all we need to do is add that second C name record, and so I'm gonna jump back to Rocket here, and you can see that it gives you another C name record for your www, and so when someone goes to www.yourdomain.com, that is also going to show your website, and so all it needs is this value again. So I'm gonna copy this value from the second one. I'm gonna jump back to Cloudflare and we're gonna add another record here. So I'm gonna choose this button. I'm gonna change from an A to a C name record again. And then in the name, it says to enter www. And then I'm gonna paste that value into the target field here. And so you can see it gives a little bit of a human readable line here where it says www.yourdomain.com is now an alias of that temporary domain as well. And so those are both going to resolve to your regular domain name now. And we also do not want to proxy our status through Cloudflare. So I'm gonna actually turn that off. So it says DNS only, and we're gonna leave the TTL as auto, and I'm gonna click save. All right, so we have our two C name records in here for our regular domain and www.yourdomain.com, both pointing to the Rocket site, which is what we want. And so I'm gonna go back into Rocket here and I'm going to say I've updated my DNS and click that. And now you'll see that instead of that temporary domain name that we had from Rocket prior, and now says yourdomain.com, this is the label that we put on it, which I just put the first and last name. And now if we click this WP admin button for a one-click access to get into our website, I'm gonna choose that. Here we are in the back end of our WordPress website. And now if we go and visit your site, you can see that it now says ethanblackwell.com instead of that temporary domain that we had from rocket.net. So now you have your very own domain name, you've hooked it up, it's all set up with rocket.net hosting and your site is going to be extremely fast and now everything is good to go and we're ready to build your website. So that is how you get signed up for rocket.net web hosting and get it all configured so that you have your live website. That's all that I have for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.